We begin with the news alert this morning. Here are live pictures of a first alarm fire call. This was near 19th Avenue and Deer Valley Road. This is happening at a waste management transfer center, we've been told. It was called out around 5.30 this morning. It seems like this started pretty quietly. Then we saw a lot of heavy smoke coming from this building. So right now we have joining us live on the phone is Captain Todd Keller with the Phoenix Fire Department. Captain Keller, you there? Do we have you? Yes, I am. All right, great. What can you tell us about uh, the current situation of this? So I can tell you around 5.30 a.m., uh, crews were dispatched there at 19th Avenue in Deer Valley uh, for multiple re uh, reports of smoke coming from a unknown source uh, structure. So crews arrived, and they are at the waste management transfer station. And right now, as you can see, I mean, I don't know if you have some of that B-roll footage going on, but uh, there was smoke coming from the interior of those metal-clad buildings and the exterior. Uh, due to the potential of this fire and how much product there was, command immediately uh, balanced it to a first alarm. And what product inside? Do you have an idea of what could potentially be burning there? Hazardous materials, maybe? So... Our initial reports were a lot of recyclable material, cardboard, uh, boxes, stuff like that. Uh, I can tell you that our crews are working with employees on scene to get these front-end loaders uh, working with, uh, in collaboration with our units to break up this debris, and that way we can get a full extinguishment on you know, this debris fire. Uh, Todd, we saw earlier that it looked like they had that front end loader kind of bringing some of that debris right out into the parking lot there. And then we saw some of your trucks working to put out that debris. Is that kind of a normal procedure there when we have some sort of debris fire in a building like this? Yes, absolutely. So that's standard operation with uh, situations like this, junkyard fires, debris fires, stuff like this, is that we will work with uh, operations, employees, uh, the company to kind of bring that stuff out and then we'll have our hand lines there and we will extinguish uh, all the like product, whatever it is, recyclable material. A lot of these uh, trucks come and offload what they've been collecting throughout the day. So yeah, absolutely standard operating procedure. Uh, we work with employees to break this material up and that way we can get deep into some of these uh, garbage piles. And Todd, real quick, we're getting the wrap, but do you guys, do you know if there were sprinklers inside that building that went off? So we, we did have indication that there was some kind of sprinkler activation, some kind of water suppression system. Uh, right now, because there was a lot of debris and a lot of smoke, uh, our best uh, tactic in this situation was kind of remaining in the defensive posture and just use those front end loaders and just kind of hit this uh, debris from an elevated position. All right, Todd Keller with the Phoenix Fire Department. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us this morning. Absolutely. Have a great day. You as Thank well, you. sir. You too.